Howdy folks. It's good to be back at Blackacre Ranch. Glad you could join us. So, we're here and we've been shopping because we need some extra fittings. And these fittings are what we're looking for. So, some extra four inch, we got a bunch of others from three quarter inch shut off valve. We got a couplings, three quarter inch elbows, some two inch elbows, and just a bunch of stuff. We went over to the store, and got all of that, and we got ourselves some extra pipe. So we have ourselves the two inch, and then some one and a half inch for the outlet, the overflow. So I think you guys saw from last week, our trench. I wanted to show you all of this dirty work, kind of what we've been able to accomplish from it and how it looked today. So we got a little, we got a little bit of rain, um, not a ton, um, but we took the uh, cap off the end and then it re-soaked this. There was a little water in there, it wasn't a lot. I mean, there was not a lot of water at all. It came down as rain. Um, so this one looks pretty good. Um, let's show you the other ones. The pipe seemed to be going good. Didn't seem to have any leaks in it. Now this guy seems to be dropped a little bit. If you look at the top, that metal ring is towards the top of that pipe and it just looks to have dropped a little bit um, off of the Oh, downspout. So I'm not sure if there's really much we can do. We might try and fill in down here a little bit and try and raise it up a little. But uh, otherwise, everything seems to be looking pretty good. And if you recall last week, you know, here's that clean out again down here. I think we're going to put some Teflon tape around them and then screw them down tight. These were not put on very tight from last week. So, um,. You know, it had dribbled out some here and there. We didn't have any, like, water in the actual line, except down at the bottom. So when I opened this up, some came out here, but most of it came out at the other end. So anyway, but if you remember from last week, we put that pipe. What we're going to do is we're going to get up here, we're going to cut this off, we're going to finish putting it on top of here. So we're going to 90 it, 90 it, come over, and somehow reach the top of the tank and then 90 it down in and I've got the hole saw and a little gasket to kind of put in so that way this section can all be actually routed to the tank now there's gonna be a lot of water stored in these pipes so I don't know how much rainfall we're gonna have to get before we actually start collecting anything but uh, anyway that's there and then you'll see from over here and then from inside or in front of the tanks We've got our fittings here. And so some of the ones that we just bought are to help out here. Put a manifold down here along the bottom. And then the overflow is gonna go right off that guy. So that's our plan. So we do have stuff planned for the troughs, um, which is gonna be good. Get those things mostly done. But if we can get at least the water entering in at the very top of the tank, we can start collecting water. And if I can get the shutoff valves and everything at the bottom of the tanks, then I can just get everything taken time with getting all the rest of the pipes up. So there's some base things that we're gonna get done today um, that kind of need to happen to allow water collection. Anyway, stay with us. We'll kind of go through this and uh, see how far we get today. All right, we've got the ladder up, Jeff's up it. We're gonna see what's going on with this part here to go ahead and Refit it up with the 90s, elbows, aim it towards the tank. If I take off an inch and a half, that'd be 10 inches. So then it's 10 inches from inside here inside there.
So pipe math kind of bothers me. There's, you can measure it from the inside, you can measure it from the outside, and then when you get to your other corner, did you measure the inside or the outside, and then there's this offset distance. So we're gonna dry fit as much as we can and, and check. But to that corner, I'm nine inches, and then I think that pipe for the light right there is another two and a half, so that gives 11 and a half inches. And right here, looks to be about an inch and a half. Now this part is not gonna have water in it all the time, so I'm not really too worried about precision, but um, yeah. So that's an inch and a half, so 11 and a half minus an inch and a half is 10 inches. So we're gonna have a 10 inch pipe between because I measured from the inside of the other one so you want to help hold this yeah. over on the side here you can move some of that stuff It's not a very smooth uh, cut. Yeah. Helped a little bit. Clean that up. Okay, so you got that with this. That should go up in there. And once we turn it, how far? That's the next pipe cut. need to glue this? I don't know that we really should. All right, let's see if this works. you're there you just try and stick this in and check your distance off that other pipe up oh, coming up for the light I'll throw it look good okay then now's your chance to shorten up that pipe if you want if it was me I'd probably shorten it up well it is you so He's in though. And if I get too much shorter, he's gonna start hitting here. Oh yeah, we really don't want that. Let's call it 64 inches. Two about the edge. Oh. I'm gonna throw that back up here. Really bad measurement <laughs> guesswork. Yes. How much was it? 60 what? 64. What was the next measurement? Around 45.
will put another piece on the end. Oh, just to help funnel it in? To, to go actually through that. Because you're making a hole, right? I'll we'll have to cut a hole, yeah. So. All right, why don't you tell the camera what you're worried about? I'm worried about a lot of things. What am I worried about? You're worried about how to get up there. Oh, That's yeah. what you're worried about. So this is the long guy, that's the short guy. Yeah, I can tell. But this guy needs to have another 90 on the end. Yes, Wait. and this guy goes in, unless this is his 90. All right, so this guy's gonna come this way, slightly down, and then this guy pitching it slightly down. Mm -hmm. And then he needs a 90 and a little link off him. And then this guy will need the 90 on this side, going straight down. Like that. Yeah. Now I have a fear of how to get up there and actually how to get on the tank. I was going to say he has a fear of heights. You want to get up there? Nope. <laughs> I didn't think so. I just that was the next phrase I figured you were going to go with. But, you know, that's a different conversation. It's pretty high. And then it's kind of a squishy tank. Yeah. I'm going to drill a strap hole, uh -huh. maybe right up in here, and maybe one up higher. Okay, give these an option. And then the screw of this one in, put the pipe back on, uh -huh. and then wrap this around I think and drill it in. I Feel like your life is filled with dumb stuff. Only when we're kind of ranch. Good job, baby. See, that's a good idea. Okay, so we got everything screwed up. However, I screwed it up. I grabbed the wrong screws. So we're replacing screws around that strapping for this arm we're putting up. So sorry, honey. Love you. Open it up and let you climb up easier that way. Into a worse position. <laughs> Yay! So glad this is working. On a filthy ladder? Right? you do it? Maybe you ask the camera if they do. <laughs> Is this safe? I don't know.
Why are you bringing up that water to throw on the thing? No. I'm gonna dent this. Well, right now we don't care. Okay. Do you want me to take the ladder and prep it over here? That's what I thought. I just want to make sure you're okay up there. Not really. <laughs> Woo! Don't say that and then do that. Lid caved in. Ow. Um, how you doing? I'm trying to disperse my body weight. <laughs> it's too bad I don't have my camera. It's way down there. Oh, I have my phone. <laughs> this is so camera worthy. Did you get it? I took a picture of you laying. Problem is that this is now collapsed. Collapsed. I see that. Are you letting go? I did. Okay. All right. I made it on top of the tank with the camera, so you guys actually see what's going on. And the tank hood, roof, whatever, has collapsed from Jeff's weight. So it's going to be kind of hard to line up this hole that we need to drill. And I said just drill a stupid hole. So, you know, it's my fault when it's all messed up. There we go. to lube this we had it last week well I'm waiting for my weight effect to get off the top so it'll pop out um, we're gonna get these things done down here and hopefully we'll hear it sometime Given our luck on the pigs with the nipples, us in plastic threads don't seem to get along very well. So what I did was I got, I used some Teflon tape, but I've, I've heard as researching online that it doesn't work as well, it's not as perfect. So this is some pipe thread sealant. They said don't get the glue, but seal it, and this fills the cracks a lot better and stops leaking. I just don't want to have this leak here once I get all those gallons sitting in the tanks. So I'm um, just pretty nervous about that. So this says uh, shake it, which it doesn't shake. And uh, it says for anything up to one and a quarter, you can apply just to the male thread. If it's any bigger, you gotta do the male and female thread. So we will follow instructions.
buyer's giving you a hug? Yes, it is. <laughs> all right, I think we're done with glue. All right, well, we got them all up. Um, we're gonna drop these down, and uh, we have those Mojo, Rojo, 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 Rojo water things. Um, I could put it up here at the surface. I'm afraid they're gonna mess with it because it's a big contraption and it's a big yellow ball that sits there, and they might break the ball. The other option that they have is a low mount, and so I think I was gonna drop the tube down, come over, and have a threaded where I could thread it in. And then it has a, a string with a float that'll sit out kind of more in the middle. And they may bump that and kind of play with that a little bit, but I'm hoping they won't they won't do too much. So I, I, I could come down and try and angle it so the float just stays over here. Um, I'll have to see, I'll just need just more and more elbows. But with a barbed wire right here, I don't imagine they're going to get their head over and try and play with this. I hope not. If you guys think that they are, if any bison dude out there even watches my channel, um, it'd be nice to know. And also, how do I how do I secure this? Is there a, a strap or something? I don't want to screw into this and crack it. So how do I... Is there a clamp or something that I can put around this to, to secure these in place? They don't wiggle. But anyway, if you got some ideas, let me know. Okay, we're getting ready to um, finish up and head out. We got most of the things all hooked up at the water troughs, and we'll finish that up next week. We're going to go check out the big black water tank and see if the lids popped back up. Um, otherwise, we are about done here for today. Thanks for checking us out. Don't forget to click like and subscribe, and we'll see you next week on Black Acre Ranch.